This video, sponsored by Truco Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report, today, July 13th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had four M-Class solar flares today. The strongest being an M5.35 solar flare that occurred or peaked right around 1 UTC time. Let's go over all these flares and see what sunspots they originated from. We started the day with sunspot AR3738 producing an M1.4 solar flare. Sunspot AR3738 is a beta gamma sunspot. Not the most complex, but a complex sunspot. We had lots of strong C flares as well. A couple of them are not assigned sunspots and could have been filament eruptions. The next C flare we had came from that same sunspot, AR3738, at about 1242. At least that's when it peaked. That was about a 35 minute flare, which is a pretty long term flare. Again, an M5.35. It says M. 5.2 here, which you can see up here was a 5.35. Now, following that, we had several decent sized C flares, and a new sunspot comes into play, 3747, producing two M class solar flares, an M1.8 and an M1.9, peaking at 1530 and 1544. It looks like one big eruption, and we will take a look at that. That sunspot is a simple sunspot. Magnetically, it's directly facing Earth, although. Now, today we have a 15% chance of an X-class solar flare, a 60% chance of an M-class solar flare that should be moved up to 100%, and we haven't been below a C2 baseline in weeks, so I don't know why it's not a 100% chance of having a C flare. Our current baseline is a C3.92. All right, taking a look at HMI Intensigram here, we see sunspot AR3738 is moving towards the far limb, although very large and complex. It was responsible for the largest flare the M5.35 solar flare. The other sunspot now in play is AR3747, responsible for the last two M flares. We will be able to see all of the flares today on STO and our Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager. Now, altogether, it looks like we have two, four, six, eight sunspots Earth facing with three that probably need to be named coming around the limb. All right, let's start off over here where it goes, Solar Ultraviolet Imager. This is Sunspot AR3738, and you can see the activity. It produced two of the M-flares today, and then we jump over and we see Sunspot AR3747 that is now in play. And you can see both of the M flares, one, two, that it just produced. And those were the last two M flares that were produced. Over to our D Region Absorption Prediction Center, the M5.35 solar flare popped off over Western Europe, Africa, and most of the Atlantic Ocean. And it peaked right around 1240. That was followed by two additional M flares. And we will follow that. Remember, everyone's getting their dose of radiation. 
there is one of the inflares there peeking over the well lesser Antilles and part of the Caribbean maybe part of Venezuela as well and this is probably the second one right here will continue they happened one after another so those in fact were the two M flares you can see them first one two one two so what i'm ended at 1541 and the next one started at 1541 and peaked at 1546. so those are the last three M flares out of the four that were produced today Headed to STO, first we're going to look at the left here at 193 angstroms. I want you all to concentrate on 3738. And it looks like there's a lot more activity than has been reported, obviously. That looks like several flares or at least a film eruption and flares. We have two reports of solar flares, but it looks like it's continually flaring, as you can see. And that's all day to day. None of that's showing up on our goes. Look at that. That flare came right at us. Uh, and we'll watch through this. But this is very strange to see all those flares. Only two M flares were supposed to be created from that sunspot group. You can see a very strong one there. Again, these could be film interruptions. But they were quite significant whatever they were and did not show up on our goes and that is probably the m 5.35 now we're going to look over here at the new sunspot that's producing m flares sunspot ar 3747 and we'll see the two solar flares there's one let's see if we can see them both well, we definitely see the last one. We saw the other two on Ghostsol Ultraviolet Imager. Now, let's take a look at the right here, 171 angstroms. Look at all the, look at that. Definitely a coronal mass ejection sent out. Nothing shows up on LASCO. And another huge film eruption or solar flare here makes no sense because these are much. And then a third one. And none of these are showing up on GOES. Now we're going to jump over to AR3747. See what's going on there. And at least we'll get to see the first. There was the first one. There's the first one. And I guess there was the second one. Right there at the end. If I can just see it. Right there at the end. So those are the four solar flares. It looks like there was five or six, most of them coming out of AR3738. Not reported or seen on our GOES. Taking a look at the backside of the sun here, we see that we have a mess coming back around. There's not going to be any break for Earth. We have, again, around eight sunspots facing earth with three that probably need to already be named and we have 017 020 and 022 on their way around you can see the orange and here is 022 here uh, this is gong and you can see those sunspots also on gong all right this was taken at 11 a.m central time this morning these are all reverse polarity sunspots coming around the limb. None of them have been named. Uh, this is AR3738, and this is AR3747 right here, which really looks like it is white over black in the southern hemisphere, which would make it a reverse polarity sunspot. Uh, obviously, the sun looks like a mess. And we could expect a stronger flare at any moment. Soho, 284 angstroms, taken at 6.06 Central Time this morning. You can see AR3738 here. AR3747, a large sunspot here. Looks like we have a large coronal hole forming in the Northern Hemisphere. 
uh, several sunspots there and several that have come around and probably should be or have been named by now. Finally, taking a look at our real-time solar wind via Discovery Satellite, we see that we have no plasma hitting Earth, no solar winds. They started at about 360, and they're probably close to that right now. 334 have been as low as 265. So I would say that nothing, nothing whatsoever in the form of a solar storm, i.e. solar winds that they predicted for the 13th, have impacted Earth. Is this going to be another incorrect prediction by NOAA? Well, the day is almost over, so we'll have to see. We do have about three or four more hours. That said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World. God bless you.